Welcome to the Acrobat Lounge. I am Steve Dotto, this is Steve Fair, and this podcast is dedicated to teaching you about Acrobat 9. Now, one of the real challenges that I face in life is multiple documents that are named the same but are slightly different. People have this experience from everything from contracts to graphical presentations. But finding and comparing two documents, catching the changes that you're approving, huge for business. Yeah, I think it's really important. Documents are flowing in and out of our lives, in and out of our inboxes. And you want to make sure that the final document that everybody's going to use is the real final document and that there's been no subtle changes from you know what you're trying to get through uh, in a business document. Especially when you send something to somebody for final approval and you think that they're just rubber stamping it, mm. but they've done more than rubber stamp, they've done a little bit of an edit. You, you never know, it could be an accidental change that you didn't catch, it could be a number that you put in weeks ago and it's changed because the dollars changed mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. and you didn't catch it, and now all of a sudden those numbers are being put into a contract and you're gonna be held accountable to those documents for a long, long time. So we have built into Acrobat 9, compare documents. Yes, really simple. This is the document, uh, this is the original document. Mm -hmm. I've got a final version I want to compare it to. I simply say document, scroll down to compare documents. There's the document I have open. Here's the document, here's where I find the new document I want to compare it to. It just happens to be called presentation underscore two. I tell it what kind of document it is. Is it dominantly a graphic document or a text-based document? And I say, okay. Now when I say okay, it's literally crawling over both of those documents, all the pixels, all the fonts, everything, and it's going to compare the two. And it's going to show you wherever it finds a difference. It gives you the summary document that shows you that there's nine pages and that it's found changes. And it gives you a really um, simple way to read the document and see those changes really quickly. As I scroll down these sort of thumbnail versions of the document um, or the pages, you can see the first document, nothing there. On the second document, it's got a little purple icon. This is just a real clear indicator that there is a change. And guess what? If we look at that, it's an important change. If I scroll over this highlighted area, okay, the original okay. document had 400,000. The new document has 460,000. That may be the right change. That might be the right number. But Acrobat has put you in a position to be able to make that decision. This is the fine-tooth comb that you need to go over a document with. So besides reading it really aggressively for the final right. pass, you also, you'll often miss little changes like a number like this or you'll, a little a clause missing or something like that because you're focused on other aspects. This really is an automated process that, 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 that's an, that reminds you of each step and it, and it gives you that extra, that extra attention to detail that's, that's required in business. I think it's just really important to have that kind of detail and Acrobat gives you a really good way to look at it without having to you know, pour through the haystack yourself. Success might be in the differences and this mm. shows you the differences. Visit www.acrolounge.com and sign up to win one of 10 iPod Touches. Good luck.